Hello there, this is Richard Spirits Garden, and this is Toki on Nintendo's Switch console. Beautiful. This is the uh, Switch dashboard. We're going to launch the game, and we're going to get on with it. Come on, come on now. Uh, this is by Microids, which sounds like some sort of... Uh, you're going to need annual soul to get rid of the Microids. Uh, there's a monkey on a stick. There's some cogs. There's a lady... A giant floating hand that grabs the lady, some orchestral score, and a dude with a small head. Uh, he gets turned into an ape. Oh, he gets he gets um, de-evolved. Uh, this is Toki. Uh, so that's the same as the arcade game. This is a update of the Toki arcade game. I think it, it was by Tadcorp, as it says there. And uh, it looks like they've given it a Rayman-style makeover. Um, here's a map screen, which I don't remember there being in the arcade, but there is one here. And it's got a little bit of text. Lovely. So I bought this uh, recently in a sale. And uh, I've seen it in the shop actually. I've seen it in the shop for 30 quid. It came in a special edition. I didn't bother with that. I had some credit on my Switch account. And I thought, you know what? Uh, this game is now £1.19. Uh, I'll give it a crack because of brand awareness. I'm aware of this game. I played it in the arcade. I'm not going to say I was a mega fan. I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed the Amiga version. Ooh, got a spike in the ass. That's exactly where you didn't want a spike. Um, yeah, I played it on the Amiga, enjoyed it on the Amiga version. It was very similar to the arcade machine. And the gameplay is... was kind of agreeable, but I haven't played it in many years. I remember there was a fish there that tries to get you. But So level one in this game is kind of recognisable to me. I don't remember getting that far in this game. I'm brutally honest, my skill set didn't allow me to get much past level 3. Shoot the devil's heads. Yeah, the Enemiga Mega version was quite similar to the arcade machine. It was a pretty, pretty good conversion. The Mega Drive one, uh, as I believe it to be, is a reimagining, like Shadow Dancer. Like a Shadow Dance style reimagining of the game for Mega Drive console. Oh, bloody hell. That was. Okay. Uh, this game is. Uh, frustrating. Uh, I'll give it that. Oh, we've got some lots of parallax scrolling. And we've got some animated characters. Uh, what do you think about the visual style? I'm kind of. okay with it. It's alright. It's not. It looks like a cheap version of Rayman. It doesn't look like... Um, it's not awesome. Some weird coloration on some hills there. And... Uh, oh, it's through the shop. Lovely. Quite like the way that zombie ape comes out of the ground. That's nice. Oh, there's a skull. That's scary. Oh, spiders. Spit out kidneys, ain't you? Little kidney spiders. And we've got moths here. Devil moths, uh, massive mushrooms. Oh man, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, frustrating platform action going on here. Yeah, I think the Mega Drive version uh, is a reimagining, and it's not as good as the original arcade machine uh, visually. And I, but I don't know about the gameplay. I've never played the Mega Drive version. I've just seen it in the magazine and noticed it doesn't look anything like the arcade machine. These ghost things, the spears. A massive ball egg. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's my new personal high school look. Oh, I'm glad it's a personal high school. Not a community high school. Is there such a thing as a community high school in this game? Don't know. Rambling now. Uh, that's fairly... Fairly ugly. In some ways. Like, the background looks very dirty. There's clouds. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, it's... It's fine. It's a fine-looking game. Um, beautiful. And uh, the audio is okay. The gameplay is Toki. And I don't know if this plays identically to the arcade game. 
But it's sort of how I remember it really. Slightly frustrating platform action. It's fine. You got a if you've got a classic gameplay, why bother why bother changing it? Just change the graphics, give it a lick of paint. Give it a weird lick of paint and send it out to the public again. Was Toki ever a massive game? Did anybody Was this anybody's favourite game? I don't think it was. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen this on physical. I've seen it on physical for about 15 to 30 quid. Um, I don't think it sold very well. I think the physical version came with like an art book and stuff, but I still pretty sure it was a pretty poor cool seller. And that's because no one gives a fine fudge about Toki. And you can kind of see why. You know they changed the monkey to grey, and he was brown in the original. This is always a bit weird. These flying contraptions. Yeah, this is the sort of madness we have to put up with in the 80s. Kind of like monkey, fire spirit monkeys. Times were simpler then. Uh, there was no internet. Um, we had dial up modems. Um, the movies were good. That's the 80s. I'd say the music's got quite a nice production value to it. The visuals are a bit messy. Like, I don't like this blue mountain thing in the background here. Sort of halfway, halfway in the mid distance there. It looks a bit weird. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, for my quid, I've got a self spoiled version of a classic arcade game, now in widescreen, with painterly graphics. To be fair, I think I probably would have preferred just the original arcade game. But, you know, it wouldn't have been widescreen, would it? So, yeah. Oh my god, got killed by a spider's kidney again. Why has that spider got so many kidneys in it? Unbelievable. And. For a quid, you can't really complain, uh, I guess. But if you paid, say, 15 quid for this for the box version, then you were gutted. It's a fairly uh, difficult and some would say like unfair as that ghost there just proved. Platform game. Yeah. Can't get that. Can't get the sports helmet. No, it doesn't pin me high enough. Dunno, dunno then. Uh, maybe I've got to wait for some sort of uh, Zombie man to follow me. I've got time for that. Got a level boss to defeat. Hmm, just walked through a statue. So there's clouds that clip eye. There's a lot of shortcuts in this, which visual shortcuts, which look a bit shite. I, I didn't realise he was going to jump on me there. I've forgotten that's what he does. He's firing monkeys at me. I seem to have found a sweet spot by complete accident. Hmm, got to move now. He's gonna come on. Just gotta shoot him one more time. There he goes. Yes. Eat my lethal spits, you mother. Do a monkey dance! Oh, who doesn't like a monkey dance? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Jesus. Uh, okay, uh, we uh, the second level is underwater, isn't it? So there's a bit of an underwater section where you have to fight like a giant fish thing. Uh, I remember that much, at least. Lake Neptune. Well, wow, this is very exciting. It's all right. It's all right for a quid. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. It's fine. How am I supposed to get past these balls? Oh, it's my new personal high school. Um, was there a power up in this where you had um, like? Uh, footwear. And then did that make you run faster? I think I remember there was something like that in here. So you got your flame shot, you got your three, ooh, press the wrong button, three shot, and you've got your double shot. Mm, is that it? Is that all you get? Possibly. This game was always double hard in the arcade though, so no surprise that this version is also verging on the unfair. At least the restart points are kind of quite close to where you die. 
Oh, come on now. Shoot the moths. This monkey does not like moths. Oh, got chicken. He's half bad, half chicken. Why is there so many devils in this game? Devils and ghosts. This is crazy. It's like uh, a monkey's worst nightmare. Oh, sharks and shit. Oh no. Uh, it's alright. It's alright. Don't pay. Don't pay more than two quid for it though, because it is a very simple arcade game. Um, if there's a Toki community out there, a Toki fan club, you tell me why this game A is awesome. B, why you think it got converted uh, and updated. Out of all the games that could have been updated, why was Toki the one that got updated in this way? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it was a labour of love, but if it was a labour of love, why did they go cheap on the graphics? I mean, some of it's pretty nasty. I'm not saying it's all nasty, just some of it just doesn't look right. Quite a lot of them with the characters, the character animation, no. But the backgrounds, yeah, that's not so much of a fan. I don't remember this bit being this hard. I'll level with you. This thing used to die pretty quickly, from what I remember. This scary face, oh man, I just got a lovely earring. That's been redrawn quite badly, I don't like that. Okay. Pick up the strawberry. Yeah, it's Toki. It's a platform game. Uh, look out for it on the Switch eShop and uh, don't pay more than, say, two quid. It's not worth it. But it's alright. It passes. It passed five minutes of my time. And uh, I might boot it up every now and again. But for a quid, I don't feel like I've really been that ripped off. So that's Toki on the Switch. Alright, ta -ra.